Climate is a hot topic these days, but very little is known about how the changes could impact ranches in the Southern Plains. SunUp's Austin Moore takes a look at a new USDA program, hoping to find some answers. Beef production is about more than just good cattle. It depends on genetics in concert with management, land, and climate. You know, it requires the use of natural resources, land, it's very dependent on moisture, you know, precipitation, the pattern of precipitation, uh, temperatures, and so on. And so everybody in the beef industry has a different environment. And so you can't apply one set of standards or recommendations to everyone's operation. It just won't work because everybody has a different situation. To deal with this problem, the USDA's National Institute of Food and Agriculture funded a $10 million integrated research and extension project called Grazing Cap. The work is happening across the Southern Plains, but is headquartered at the USDA's Fort Reno station. So what we wanted to do is have research sites, you know, starting in Kansas, coming, you know, from Oklahoma State, here in the central part of the state at our station, in the southern part of the state with Noble Foundation, to look at how these systems work in different parts of the climate regime that we see, as well as different forage bases and different uh, herds or different genetics of the animals with the herds that are at different stations. The research team here is huge and diverse with simultaneous studies in remote sensing, soil greenhouse gas emissions, moment-to-moment -moment changes in carbon, water, and methane, and even new tools for measuring water in the landscape. You've got animal science researchers, you've got rangeland researchers, you have agronomists, you've got soil scientists, you've got hydrologists, you've got climatologists, and it's pretty unusual to get that scope of disciplines all coming together to work together on one system and see all of the trade-offs and the interactions, because it's the interactions we don't really understand very well. Uh, one of the uh, issues is greenhouse gas emissions, especially related to, to agriculture, in this case beef cattle uh, production. To measure these gases, this special trailer is parked in a pasture with grazing cattle. When they come in for a treat, an animal-specific identifying tag is scanned and their breath is analyzed for methane and other gases escaping from the rumen. And so what we're after is to look at individual animal methane production to start to identify animals uh, that are individual animals that are efficient at what they do. We can link that to genetic markers and start to identify animal genetics, uh, individual animals that are most efficient at what they do in terms of uh, in forage-based agriculture and grazing. Improving herd genetics is the long-term goal, but in the short term this project should improve the management decision tools that producers already have. You know if producers are managing their cattle operations to be efficient from an economic standpoint, usually that is, is very sound environmental management as well because there's not very much or very little nitrogen, excess nitrogen excretion, there's very little excess phosphorus excretion and so on. And so usually the economic decision, the most profitable economic decision, not always but most of the time, is also a very sound environmental management practice as well. We will be talking more about this grant and the many projects within it in the coming weeks. But if you'd like to learn more now, visit our website and look at show links.